back. We leveled up some stuff. Load up Freya some, some as well, but see so what he has to say, and I think we'll get back into the main mission. Travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe, or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever pants. Charlie Quinn's mallet. Linda. Would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bailey? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. Hmm. The dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. Hmm. You could hmm. say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birger the Traveler? Not much. I oh, ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Car. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along, Probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. <laughs> codpiece. Oh my god. Freya? How you doing? I'm fine. On that, madam, we are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh. Thank you? Anytime. Ha! <laughs> Linda, you ain't changed one damn bit. Ha <laughs> it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stuff. This crest. It's mine. Oh, we found your crest. Freya's crest. Crest depicting the family sigil of Freya and Freyr of Njord and Sekoi, a family that used to exemplify everything noble and wise about the Vanir and Vanaheim itself. Then Odin fucked it all up, didn't he? Married Freya, then trapped her on Midgar, tricked those who loved her into believing that she abandoned them, and then the bastard waged slow, brutal war on those same people he'd sworn to do right by. Knowing it perhaps unsurprisingly, the crest is defaced. When many people of the Vanir think of Freya, they think of pain. One hopes we could change all that. Beautiful. What we got? Here's your map. Nice. Why is it still glowing? Why is it still glowing? It's really bothering me that it's still glowing. No, oh, whatever. Let's go, girl. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, hmm. classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. Yes. But surely the lad's got more sense than... Don't to... underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? See, just got away from the shut up. And you tell that one eyed nut sucker he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness. I'd put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. 
But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, that trip. Well, come on then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Come on. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. Uh oh. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets are to every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you are going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Say, let go! What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. <laughs> an idiot. Find some shelter. This kid's so stupid. Something started. out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Ah! 
Then, I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. Why is he black? What is this thing? Some kind of white? Oh, bitch. Son of a bitch. Jesus. For you, sent, sent it magic united by a singular purpose, the destruction of life, a natural defense response, considering life has given way to Ragnarok. The light is created when a group of three wisps converge into one whole angry creature. If we come across the three wisps as that they are converging, it is quite possible to disrupt the process. We need to add how strongly I recommend doing so, but every little nudge helps. More ravens. You trying to tell me something? Wrong ravens. What's the point of this? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, blind. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! You tell him that. Welcome. Gotta get out of the cold. Okay. 
What the hell is that noise? shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. You spy. That's the dumbest idea plan. ever. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie. He doesn't look too good. Please. Please. Charlie. Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. I need to get you warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Oh. Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. 
Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Looks nice out there. Is this Baldur's? Wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. Valkyrie armor. Does this go with the wings on the wall? Probably. From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. It's okay, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Me too. The hell's going on? Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Truly, Freya must have been so obsessed with hunting us that she neglected her giant turtle house. Her so-called friend, when I first saw Char Charlie out in the cold, I thought he might be dead. He's alive, but he's freezing out there alone. I lit a fire to keep him warm, but he's going to need someone to stay with him full time if he's going to survive. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird, is this Asgard? Well, hey, still, wait up! Look how beautiful this game looks. Like, it's so awesome. The ripples in the water, the shining from the sun, Wherever reflections. Is, it's great. It's beautiful. Not a sign of Fimble Winter. The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh, you don't seem friendly. Jump up! 
Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Whole toads, Jesus. Where's all these frogs come from? Sign of Fimble Winter. I better keep heading towards the wall. <gasps> you could have led me around those. You can't kill what you can't catch. Many touts. Craziest thing I've ever done. But if Stupid that's what it takes to change father's fate. Hold on, I'm coming. He's gotta find a way through. What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I like serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
You got so pissed off and stormed off that you didn't even find out what the hell happened. <sighs> Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Rob say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. Did I get it? Hell no. Sounds like people. I have people. Need help? You uh you look a little lost. Oh uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you 
All from Midgard? Yep. The, uh... Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but... We don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You... you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? No. Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? No. Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stayed? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. Need help? Appreciate it. But I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Hugin and Munin, these two are like the spies we see around the realm. Hugin and Munin are Odin's own weird magical pets, but yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We were away how they were normal ravens once until Odin captured their whole unkindness. Most of them he roasted and ate for supper, but Hugin and Noonan he experimented wiping their memories and binding them to his will. Mimir also referred to them as ripe pricks, even for a god. Really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like Shut looking up. down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but. What was that? Nothing. Th nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Shut the Thanks, fuck Taylor. up. Hope you're right. Yolder lives outside the walls of Asgard in a camp of refugees from Midgard. I guess Odin actually saved a lot of people from the desolation, even though he caused it. I wouldn't have believed it, but I can tell Yolder's honest. He's nice, funny about my age. I didn't come to Asgard to make friends. Here's temple. Oh, no wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Oh yeah, it's flooded, huh? Or broken? Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Looks like I'm not the only one who's tried climbing before. Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. A wife? Up here? Come <laughs> on. 
Assholes. Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. Huh? Oh, shit. Outcome. All right, stop moving. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Breathe, and yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. I don't know about that. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Purple rock. Yeah, oh, I get it. Whoa, okay, these are connected. Jump. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Got to do both sides, though. Hmm? Let's see we have this, uh... Here we go. What are we doing? Cutting it? Shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Uh, 
Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reimther's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. I feel like we've been up higher than this before. To the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Bats. Come on. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think Oh, visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. Huh? Great. Mm. And then why are you out there and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that. of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Alright. I'm gonna end this one up here. Finish climbing the wall. Loki Atreus is making dumb decisions. So, we'll pick up right back here, making more dumb decisions. Later.